Richard Bubin, the owner and master ice carver for IceCreations.com here in Pittsburgh. I've been carving ice for 30 years. I would come with crayons on my parents' walls when I was a little kid. I knew I was an artist. But from then, I, I worked my way up from a busboy to a head chef, and I carved stuff out of fruits, vegetables, and then I started carving ice. And uh, ever since, it's been a snowball effect. And then I started going to competitions, and I started winning, and it took me all the way to the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City in 2002. And then 20 days after that, I broke the Guinness World Record for the fastest ice carver on the planet. It's taken me all around the world, from Jamaica, Japan, Alaska, Bahamas, it's all over the United States, but I'm based right here in Pittsburgh. Ice seems to be my God-blessed gift that I was given, and here in Pittsburgh, I did the Ice Labyrinth for 2014's New Year's Eve celebration. That was a major undertaking. We had LED lighting that we put in it, but then there was professional lightings that came around and did the whole walls all the way around it. We had to have a place to remove it. It was either gonna go in the river, or luckily Allegheny County Parks contacted me that we could move it out to Boyce Park. It transformed it into a whole different ice maze in another royal great room and there was where you put your head in the hole and you'd be an ice carving of a snowboarder or a skier. This is the ice making machines that I use to make my clear 300 pound blocks of ice. And what I do is there's a contracting, expanding galvanized walls. I put a plastic liner in, two hooks, fill it up with 55 gallons of water and you put an aqua pump that circulates the water. It makes it crystal clear and it's frozen up halfway. And after three days, I use an engine hoist to lift this up pull it out and lower it out. It's a, a block that I could sculpt into anything. Some of the biggest things I've done, a life-size ice train up in the Poconos was out of 900 blocks where you can go up inside and sit down next to people eating dinner with a little boy outside giving his last cracker to the dog. It was a fundraiser for the homeless kids up in the Poconos area. Here locally, I did an ice lounge with couches, love seats, tables, chairs, at a fundraiser for Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Katrina victims. My greatest accomplishment was um, being able to carve ice for over 30 years and still having that passion and love that I have for it since the day I started. And I still got it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>